Hello guys and welcome to another lap time challenge and I believe in this one we have the most challenging one yet. Why? Because this is a snow circuit. I have no experience whatsoever with snow and to be honest with you I'm not exactly as fast as I probably should be on snow. So let's get into it. Like going to sport mode I really haven't even set my lap time yet. I have no idea how this is going to look like. Uh, just to show you. So it's... It's Lake Louise, it's a long trek, and we have to use this Toyota GR Yaris. So, it's, I would say it's a fun car, but it's quite challenging if you're trying to really get into that gold medal position. So, it's a 147 for the gold at this point, and a 144.2 is currently the world record. So, I would first like to have a look at what the other guys did, because I don't know the lines in the circuit, and I definitely don't know how this car works. So... Let's just have a look at how this car performs and what can we actually extract out of this. So, I always say that this is one of the best things where you can actually improve your lap time just by watching someone do it before you. This saves you maybe even an, about an hour of driving on your own. So, this is where I have a little look about the breaking points and you can see there is not a huge breaking point. So, he just snaps the car in there. And, I mean, quite weird. He's using a very, very wide line. I don't know when he's going to turn in. Okay. It's still flat out. It's still flat out. Fourth on the bend. Downshift. Okay, a little bit. Third gear on the way out. And flat out. So, yeah. I think I'm going to have a tough time dealing with this. But we'll see how it's going to work out. So, cutting it early. Not going very wide. Okay. Yellow marks on the right are my reference. Second gear. But there isn't a lot of braking going in. So just a tiny bit of braking, okay, third, whoa, no brakes. I, I honestly thought he was going to brake there and third gear on the way out, wow. I don't even know what to say, this doesn't look easy. Wow, again. Wow, no braking there. Oh yes. I know this car has... Has a lot of grip even on this surface but like look at this breaking all the way up to a hundred and just letting it go and third gear on the way out I, I thought it was gonna be second and wider okay wider 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 and closer to the edge of the track so this is very interesting I think I'll just have to get used to this concept because I'm normally driving normal road cars and this is definitely something different so yeah, let's get into it. I just have to say for the first couple of laps, I had absolutely no pace. I was about five seconds off the lead. So this was this was really not going well, especially this corner. I couldn't really find the rhythm in this one. So I tried to replicate his movements. I really tried to replicate all of the th things that he did. But yeah, I was always going wide. The car couldn't turn in. So everything was not exactly as it should be. And then I realized that in slow turns, the car should slide. So you should initiate that slide and kind of get it out of that r really slow situation, a really tricky situation, just by sliding. But in fast turns, you should keep the car going in the direction you want it to. So instead of sliding, like in slow turns, you want to keep it under control. This one is kind of an exception. So this is my first breaking point. I just... I'm just kind of getting a little bit of slide, but it's nothing too much. It's not like in slow turns. And then when I get close to this blue line, I put the power down to keep the car going. So you really want to use these bends to actually help yourself on the way out, which will eventually pick up a little bit more speed. And then in the end, you will most likely be faster in the corners that have bends. So this is my turning point. And once again, as we go here, this is my breaking point. So this is something that I couldn't really find. I couldn't really find the reference gear. So it was just at the bend. You can break later if you can. And then third gear. And then when it gets kind of closer on the way out, I put the power down, but the car was sliding. So in fast turns, you actually don't want the car to slide that much. 
you want to slide it a little bit but not like in slow turns you will see it here so this is a slow turn for example i'm initiating a slide with my brakes so this is the braking point i'm turning the wheel and now i'm hitting the brakes down and you can see that the car starts to slide so this is exactly what you need to achieve in slow turns and second gear wasn't really the best option i think third gear is kind of better because it's doesn't slide the car doesn't slide that much and the wheel spin is not that significant and here you really have to use the bend to maximize your exit speed it's not about the entry it's about the exit car it didn't slide as i said before if you want to maintain speed and if you want to maintain speed on the way out you definitely have to keep the car under control or at least the back of the car needs to get under control here it's kind of a different situation as soon as i can see those i think those are ads i'm not exactly sure but we can call them markers just in front of you then i start turning in but the car didn't slide i didn't initiate the slide and then when the car started to slide away from me I had absolutely no control and then I had to wait, which was good for the way out of this corner and kind of maximized my speed out of this corner, but my cornering wasn't exactly great. I think I lost about two to three tenths just in this corner alone. And then flat out third gear up shifting into fourth, I should have already been in fourth. That's the problem. And then again, I don't know. This is one of the weirdest corners where you just have to let the car slide. And this is my reference. So just once again, initiate a slide, start turning and then hit the brakes. The car starts sliding like this. Again, I probably should have been in third gear, not to kind of lose that much momentum, but it was good in the end. Second gear, keep the car under control and focus on getting on the left hand side of the track. It will be useful on the way out. This is the reference, just a tiny bit of braking, nothing too much. If you just put the brakes down, the car just won't be able to hold it on. It will eventually slide away from you. And then really be patient on the power. Do not go from 0 to 100 in no time. Just wait a little bit, hold it about 50-60%, find the grip, and then accelerate up to 100%. Otherwise, the car might understeer, or you might lose a lot of that acceleration power that the car usually has. And yeah, now after all of this, I somehow managed to get myself into p20 round i would say a top 25 in the world it's 24th right now and i don't know how i did a 45.8 i'm still let's see huh, okay 1.6 seconds off the world record which is absolutely huge but the way this works is completely different than any other road car any other racing track that i ever had a chance to test in gran turismo so this is something special, it will take me a while to get used to, it's not going to be easy, but I do believe that it's possible. But guys, I really hope that you enjoyed in this one, and if you did, you can also click, uh, yeah, you can click that like button, or you might even want to subscribe to the channel. So, until the next time, bye.